Well, here we are again. This time I've got a, a laptop to tear up. See what kind of gold we get out of it. First thing I want to do is turn it over and get rid of the battery. Uh, these batteries can be very dangerous. There are little gold fingers here and there'll be gold connectors inside here. And it can be dangerous to the point that they will explode. Got the fingers off of a couple of cell phone batteries one time. I heard these little booms. Turns out they exploded. I was lucky the trash can was empty. What I'm going to do with the batteries from now on, is I'm going to pull those off. I'll pull these things off and I'll throw them in here and this will go inside my uh, furnace that I built out of a pressure cooker. I put the lid on it and if they blow up, they blow up. And this video is probably going to be cut up pretty good because I'm going to have to edit a lot of it out because it's going to be longer than it should be. And I appreciate the uh, the comments I've had. It made me pay more attention to like the volume in the videos which I want to apologize for the videos and everything because I'm using a uh, webcam and the speaker of the microphone on the webcam. Uh, that's a DVD drive. Get the back off this thing. Well, this thing sure has a lot of metal shielding on it. It's going to take a while to get all these screws out. This is interesting. Wow. <laughs> it does have quite a few IC chips on it. See some I believe that these little mounds right here are silver. I'm going to cut that out and put it aside and save it. A couple of good sized monolithic capacitors. Well, i got to figure out how all this comes apart. Probably must have screwed somewhere. They do love to hide screws on it. There's a couple of little bitty ones right there. All you techies out there that are probably cringing right now saying they should have done something else with it, fixed it or whatever. When I got it, it didn't have a hard drive in it. Somebody had already taken that out. And I believe it's old enough that I it would have been cheaper to buy a new computer than buy a new hard drive and, and a new operating system and a nice little heat sink. Good chunk of aluminum. And uh, let's see. Ah, it's got fingers on it. I like that. And this one's made out of plastic. Or, uh, we call it fiberglass. It's got gold in the middle here, and these gold fingers all the way around. And I'm almost betting that there's gold wires in there. So I will probably incinerate this and then grind it up after I get these capacitors off here. And then the board here will have gold connectors down in it where the pins went down in there. I 
to figure out how to get this shield off here. These things might be holding on. Yep. There we go. And a few ice sheet chips. And like I say, the other side is quite a few chips, flat packs. Uh, that looks pretty good. Put that over. There's something moving around in there. <laughs> yeah, no telling. Aha. Uh -huh. It's the keyboard. <laughs> it fell out. I wonder how big a mess I can make out of this. Each one of these things is going to come off by itself. Yeah, those are all going to be the same. It's amazing. All this engineering goes into one little old button. Looks like there's a plate there. Yep, there's a mylar. I assume that's silver. But I'm not sure. Come on. We'll find out later. But this is garbage. Looks like another little board right there. Let me plop that out real quick. Huh. This may contain a gold board. I have found them before. The center button on these looks like it's gold. The uh, outside around the outside of that looks copper. Figure out how to get this board apart. I got IC chip. And I believe it's copper. But I'm gonna get bent back. Oh, there we go. That's where I can get a hold of the these. Unfortunately, I think that's copper. Oh well, it's worth a try. But there's an IC chip. Some monolithic capacitors. I do believe the center of those are gold. Okay. know how the screen comes apart. Something is telling me to put a glove on. This is made out of glass. If it breaks, could be dangerous. A little board there. See what's on the other side of it because it doesn't look like there's much on this side. Little 
Wemmer there. That's a monolithic capacitor. What well, might be gold fingers. But it looks like to me that some of these connectors may be gold. Let's see if I can expose some of these wires. See if they're copper or gold. I haven't run into too many boards that had gold wires. Usually copper wires with uh, a gold tip on the end of it where it makes a connection. And that looks like copper. But anyway. There's some monolithic capacitors on there. Let me get the rest of this thing off. There we go. That's what I wanted. Look like maybe IC chips. IC chip. It's a good size monolithic capacitor. These kind of look like they might be gold chips. But I found one way to really tell is you take a piece like this, but you know that's gold. And you take this and take it outside in the sunshine. And then that gold will pop at you, and that copper just is an obvious difference. I have no idea what the difference in the lighting makes, but I know from prospecting in California that there's a big difference in the sun and shade when you're panning gold. I've heard some people say there's mercury in here. I've never found any in here. Maybe in the older ones. Give me some pointers. And, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Ain't through yet. Hmm. I just thought I was through. Ah, that part of it is copper. These buttons may have something on them. Silver or gold. That looks like the center part of that button is gold. I'll find out. That's about all I see. Anyway, if you get a chance, comment. And also, I wanted to apologize for the the sound and the video quality. I'm trying to do this with a webcam until I can afford to get some better equipment. But subscribe, like the video, give me comments what you liked or didn't like about it, and I'll see you on the next one.